Did you remember Wade Phillips when he was the uh, defensive coordinator with Buddy Ryan in Philly with the Philadelphia Eagles, Jeff Mosher? Do you remember those times? Because I think most people listening, only in our audience, you know, the Eagle audience, they remember Wade Phillips as the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, so they don't like the man. But right. he was the defensive coordinator for Buddy Ryan here. I know. Not vividly, to answer your question, but I know every time I go back and do stats and write stories and look at those years, I see, you know, head coach Buddy Ryan, defensive coordinator Wade Phillips. There we go. So he's on the line with us now, the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. I don't know, uh, Coach Phillips, do we introduce you as defensive coordinator for all these opponents or former defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles? Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wade Phillips is our guest. His book is called Son of Bum, the legendary football coach, Super Bowl champion. Uh, he recalls his life in football and memories of his father. I do want to start with your time in Philly because Buddy was such an overpowering personality that people don't recognize who the other guys on his staff even were. But he had a pretty good staff back then, including yourself there, that probably didn't get the recognition because because Buddy was such a big personality at that time. Oh, he really was. And, uh, yeah, Jeff Fisher was on that staff. So uh, Jeff and I coached together. So, uh, yeah, it was interesting time, certainly. <laughs> now, you had, what, Reggie was on that team, right? You were you were a part of that gang green defense. What kind of personalities did you have to work with there? Uh, you know, we had Clyde and Jerome and, and – uh, uh, some guy named Golick, and uh, along with Reggie White, and uh, we had pretty good front. We're great front four. Uh, Reggie was really something. I mean, I, I people that weren't around or don't know, you know, he he uh, set the NFL record with 21 sacks, but those 21 sacks were in 12 games. We had a, a strike uh, strike that year, and uh, we didn't get to we didn't get to play uh, we didn't play all our games. And Reggie had 21 sacks in 12 games in 1987. Pretty amazing. You have coached the most high-profile defensive players that we could just start rattling on. I mean, Von Miller, Aaron Donald, most recently, um, Reggie. I mean, would Reggie, would you say he was the greatest defensive player you got to work with? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, that year was the greatest year for sure, but um, I, you know, I don't know. He uh, he co coached. Uh, I mean, I coached uh, Bruce Smith, J.J. Uh, uh, Watt lately, uh, Demarcus Ware, and several other Hall of Famers. So uh, it's hard to pick this one, but that that one season, uh, Reggie was best. Is there any one of those coaches that came after Reggie? And I forgot about Bruce Smith, so you really have been among the best of the best. But is there any one of them after Reggie where you thought, wow, that, that's maybe the closest I've seen to Reggie or this guy had, gives me the reminders of Reggie? Well, J.J. Watt, three-time defensive player of the year, pretty amazing guy. You know, he's he's got a career to go, but, but – um, and then Aaron Donald, two out of the last three years, has been a defensive player of the year. So those guys, those young guys, <laughs> have a chance to be really great. Yeah, tell us about Aaron because, uh, you know, obviously went to Pitt, and he's so interesting to watch as a player, uh, Wade, because he's not built, I guess, per se, like uh, your, your typical DTs. He's, he's got this amazing burst off scrimmage. What What makes him be able to be that – excellent of a player that he can be uh, two times uh, defensive player of the year in three years. Well, it reminds me, Reg, Reggie was the same way, except Reggie was bigger, but uh, mm -hmm. they have so much power and so much speed and it generates whatever energy that is, kinetic energy or whatever is power. They overpower guys. They can overpower guys. And uh, uh, Reggie was able to do that. And, you know, he saw that on that film and Aaron Donald does the same thing. They just overpower people. Uh, we're talking with uh, Wade Phillips. Check out his book, Son of Bum. He talks about his life in football. Now, you started coaching with your father, uh, Bum Phillips, the great Bum Phillips, back in Houston with the Oilers. Uh, he then steps down as the coach in New Orleans, and you end up in Philly. How did you get that relationship? You know, Where was the connection with you and Buddy that he brings you to Philly to work with him? 
Uh, I was in New Orleans. I didn't really know Buddy that well, but one of the coaches on the staff knew him. And uh, so I, tra- I talked to Buddy during during the year because we were playing somebody they, they had played, and I asked him. I didn't know him, but uh, I talked to him, asked him about that team, and he, he was good enough to, you know, tell me about how they, you know, about them. And so we had that conversation. And then uh, later in the year, we ended out – we ended out number one in pass defense in the NFL, and it kept them from being overall winning all three categories. So he called me up and cussed me out. And said, <laughs> you guys, blah, 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 you know. And, and I said, well, we just had a great game against against the Giants. And uh, and anyway, after after, uh, after the season, he got the head coaching job. He called me up. Uh, he got the Philly job. Called me up and said, hey, you want to come run my 46 defense? I said, sure. So. <laughs> Now, how much of that 46 have you kind of – I mean, when we hear, we heard the 46 back then, we were like, wow, this is like something new and yeah. different. Um, any parts of that still used in today's game? Oh, yeah. Uh, in, in fact, uh, when I left Philly, I, I went to Denver and uh, I in, implemented a lot of the concepts or several of the concepts that, that we ran with the 46 and um, – yeah, and we used them quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been it's been good for me. I just implemented them, and and you know the Patriots run some some of the stuff still. Some of the stuff they did in Super Bowls and so forth, uh, they did. So, uh, yeah, it's still being used. Uh, and the, the ideas were great, and I learned a lot from Buddy. Uh, Wade, I'd like to ask you about your. Uh, recent dealings with the Eagles, you know, when you were the Rams coach, there was some epic battles the last couple of years, the night that Carson obviously tore his ACL and Nick came yeah. in and that started, you know, what do you remember about preparing for the Philadelphia Eagles teams in 2017 and 2018? You guys had two unbelievable, uh, You probably not for you, they were too much of a shootout for your liking probably. Yeah, they ought to thank us. I never did get a thank you for <laughs> putting Carson out, but, but it was a shame. See, he's a great quarterback, and I, I really didn't. You know, I didn't like to see a guy get hurt, and they went ahead and won it all anyway. But uh, no, I I, uh, I enjoyed uh, coaching against the uh, Philadelphia. They they've got they do a great job. They got great ownership. They get they do a great job of of getting players, and uh, uh, so. I enjoyed uh, being there and uh, being around that for sure, playing against them. Hey, Coach, and you know Andy Reid was such a you know a coach here for a long time, very successful, went to the Super Bowl. But a lot of fans uh, in this area in this city still cling to those days of Reggie and Jerome and and Clyde and Seth and uh, when you know, when Buddy was here. And and there are a ton of fans that still connect with Buddy because this area loves defense and hard hitting players so much. What was it like for you? coaching defense in Philly, a place that really maybe appreciates it more so than other areas of the country. I don't know, but uh, I know how much they love Buddy still around here. What was it like for you to be in this city and coaching that team and, and getting a feel for it? Yeah, it was great. I I, I, uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, they, uh, the fans were great, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they booed, booed Santa Claus that one year, but other than that, <laughs> so we've heard. They had, they had great fans, yeah. That's right. So it was, it was a fun place to coach, and it was, you know, it was fun to coach with Buddy for sure. Coach, we'll leave you with this. Obviously, the book uh, "Son of Bum" it tells stories about your life in football. Uh, but how much your father meant to you in terms of getting you started in football? Uh, you know, you, you know something. There's got to be, I'm sure, winning the Super Bowl stuff like that that you remember. You know, getting a chance to start in this game because of your dad, which inspired you to write the book with Vic Carucci. But uh, is there something about your dad that really still that you think about to this day? Well, you know, almost all the football stuff, certainly. Uh, you know, he guided me through uh, my my football career, uh, coaching and playing. But uh, uh, other than that, I, I think it's just that his 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 relationship, how he related with people, was great. You know, and uh, I'll always remember that his players, his coaches, and his son. 
Uh, well, his son is on the phone with us, Wade Phillips. He was kind enough to join us, and it's a great book. It's a great storytelling book from X's and O's and just life on and off the football field, living in a football family. Wade Phillips, son of bum. He's at son of bum on Twitter. So if you're out there reading the book and uh, you want to connect with Wade and let him know, hey, read your book, great stories. And by the way, anytime, um, you know, there are some people here that weren't happy with Jim Schwartz. They were asking for you to come back to Philly this offseason. Now, Jim kept his job, but I know you're out of a job right now, but, you know, you never know. It could be a reunion, right? Well, uh, yeah, Jim's a great coach, but, but uh, you know, the last – I went – I went to Denver for the second time. We won the Super Bowl the first year, so I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> All right, we'll go out on that high note there. Coach Wade Phillips, there son of bum is the book. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Absolutely. Great stuff. Son of bum. That's a good one there. Uh, he says, hey, I went to, back to Denver and won the Super Bowl my second time, so I'll just leave it at that. That's a great selling yeah. point. That's like a mic drop. <laughs> Boom. Go out on a high – showmanship. Go out – George Costanza. High note. Yeah, you set him up pretty – pretty did a difficult situation. Like, uh, you know, Jim Schwartz is here, but we like <laughs> – I was wondering how he was going to wiggle his way out of that. <laughs> he did a good job. I mean, that was a perfect response. 